west. A major thunderstorm pummeled the sea below with torrents of rain. Intense flashes lit up the sky accompanied by penetrating roars of thunder. Gale strength wind buffeted the dark clouds billowing dead ahead. A perfect night for sailing on a lightning collection airship. The Hermes was on course to intercept the tempest before her. Is everyone ready for the storm entry? asked Captain Matt over the ship's intercom. Estimated incursion in five. All set in the capacitance room, Captain, replied Ruby, the ship's lightning tech. All systems green. Engine room ready, sir, replied Lilith, the ship's engineer. Hydrogen production a little below normal, but the system should stay operational and provide sufficient gas for this trip. Looks ideal. Thanks for collecting, said First Mate Watson. Do you mind me taking her in tonight? The helm is yours, Watson, replied the captain as he stepped aside from the ship's wheel. Please take it easy this time. No problem, sir. I learned my lesson last time. Stand by. Entry in 3, 2, 1. Uh, oh, sorry. I, uh, you caught me reading. It's my latest novel, Follow the Sunset, the uh, sequel to uh, The Kraken's Kin. Right? About a world of airships and islands and hunting for treasure and pirates, good guys, bad guys. There's two of the stars. We've got uh, D over here We're in her rocket pack. He's the ship's doctor. And Gwen, the uh, first mate and uh, major tech person on the uh, ship. Here's the back covers. These are available on my Etsy site, but that's not why we're here today. So if you're still with me, thank you. Um, I've got a couple of videos sitting here. You've probably noticed this guy before, and we're not talking about him today. We're going to take a look at this one. This is the Hermes, the one in the story. Now that it's actually a short story that's part of the book that, uh, that I just held up. It's actually a separate story, but it turns out um, there's some events in this short story that relate significantly to the main body of the second book and the third book as well. So I thought I'd take a look at that. These, these are made nearly entirely from old uh, parts of things. Uh, that's what I like to work with, have for Oh, 30 years now. So uh, I'm going to switch cameras and we'll, uh, we'll take a look at it right now. Hang on. Okay, so as I said, this is the Hermes. She's designed to fly into a thunderstorm and collect lightning, which she then brings back to uh, the stocking station or she can load, unload the lightning, collect some uh, well-deserved credits, and then head back out for uh, some more. So let's start. These these big these are the bigger airships. Uh, they're generally made from the same thing. We start here. This is a uh, tank from a World War II bomber. These are oxygen tanks. There used to be a number of these. They're low pressure. A little hints of yellow, that's the original color. The red means somebody had repainted it, made us a portable air tank. You may have one of those in your garage that your grandfather had or something. Um, one of those in your garage that your grandfather had or something. Um, uh, here, part of the lightning collection system, got part of a candy dish and uh, some other pieces. These I got at a uh, recycling place in Wisconsin on one of my trips. Um, beautiful pieces. I wish there were more. The fin, a little hard to see that. Like this one's cut out of brass, probably from, uh, from inside of a clock. The tail fins, I pointed out in some other ones, are stainless steel. They're cut out of uh, a piece of guard from a uh, combine. Come around the back, this section here. Let's see if we can get a better shot of that. Yeah, that's part of a submersible pump. This was a stand for something, not sure. Old fan blades. Uh, love the old fan blades. Hard to come by and not very cheap. So all fan blades, hard to come by and not very cheap. So up on top, if you can see that, go back to that. Got a little section here where the, this is part for the uh, lightning to be unloaded. 
Here I am using a bearing, roller bearing. Down below, form this this section here comes from the a guard off of the exhaust system of a semi or something like that. Here, this is part uh, from a these are bearings. I, I once were little bearings in there around the race. This is the keeper. It makes a great fence. I see a lot of people use bearings. They just tend to use the whole bearing together. It's just fine. There's a lot of nice parts you can get out of them. The base of this is formed from several pieces, but they're clutch plates out of tractors. Uh, some more farm equipment parts. A little stair uh, some more farm equipment parts. A little stairway here. Now there's some new steel. Some of this straighter square pieces are. Old gas cylinders here. Uh, and well, you can see this. I'm going to also add some uh, stills that I've taken of this, which will hopefully show up a little better. Um, this is out of the thermostat. So there's supposedly the station where the uh, operator comes here, adjusts what they want and what they need for uh, collecting the lightning off the airship. Uh, back up here for a moment. Uh, I don't know if you can see in there, but there is the ship's wheel and the telegraph and chair and there's a door in the back, a lot of little detail. The landing legs, these are bronze window locks old from old windows. Beautiful stuff. Hard to find them if you can get them. They're great. Beautiful stuff. Hard to find them if you can get them. They're great. Gas cylinder, this came out of a hospital originally. Some piping, that's some new piping. A lot of people use piping for all kinds of stuff. Here it's supposed to actually meant this piping. Control section here. Coming around here, sort of a discharge. Uh, in function, there would be a gap jump in here, kind of an indication of how uh, powerful, uh, how much voltage you've collected. All right, so that gives you uh, a basic look. Got the stairway coming up here. Uh, this, I think, was part of a Actually, this I think was part of a candlestick again. Wonderful things, those candlesticks. Um, if you can find them, other brass parts. So, give you an idea. Put that on here. Oh, did all this. I have a number of videos on uh, Instagram and also on YouTube. There's more on YouTube, maybe a little easier to find. In both cases, look for Ed Kidera, E-D-K-I-D-E-R-A. Um, and you can find my stuff pretty straightforward. There's covers of the work I've done, plus uh, some other things. I hope you'll uh, check it out. Check out the books. Thanks for checking out my videos. There's more to be found. There's about building airships and uh, all sorts of things. Knives, daggers. Um, 30 years experience as a metal sculptor. I've done a lot of different things. Got a couple novels out there. Uh, appreciate any input, any feedback, any, any questions. Thank you. Take care.